I get I try the same here from Try to Prosper to give you another update, and this time it's on Glimmer. I was just playing with this, uh, these settings, and uh, this came to mind. So before we start, just have a look at this um, perspective. You can look at it as a channel, and what I've done with the Fibonacci within the channel. So I'll give you a sec. Give me a sec. What I do is that was my channel. Apply Fibonacci to it, and uh, it's got a lot of confluence. So from from this perspective, I would say, getting this out, this middle section here, right there, if I can just shade it really dark, is the middle of the channel. And it's acting as previous support and resistance. So it's going to be continuous resistance, as you can see. Um, strong resistance. And it, it could be the case where when we break this, so it's likely to either go there and get rejected. Let's just put a different color, maybe black. Let's just zoom in. And uh, so we could probably go sideways, depending how, maybe even go up or down either way. This is my next level down, by the way, the 272. And there's another way of looking at it. I'll get, get into it. But this is what I'm looking at. It's out of range. You can see the previous level, the grind line. Once we lost that, that, that level, it became resistance. And the pivot point was there. So using this principle, we, we will stay in this bottom half of the channel. And until we break it, we can't be really bullish. Now, the worst case scenario is here and here. So it could possibly fall all the way down to here if this was to drop and we get a capitulation. This will be a good buying area. And that's in the 20 cents range. If the, if this was to capitulate, <coughs> if it was to go slowly, that's a different story. But I think this is remnant of... Um, Bitcoin as well, that we might just go sideways until we, we find a pivot point, and we'll come to Bitcoin in a sec, and it could be in a range, whatever that range is, and it could be the pivot point to break up as well. So, and I'll be looking to short here, or take profit if I was to do this. And it could probably continue on. Um, I do expect a bounce, but on the SP 500 on sale, but it's, it's not there at the moment. So I'm looking at it from that perspective. We're in a range. That's probably the resistance and that's the support. And we've got two ranges to play. So I think I just bought some just now and I'm hoping it goes up a bit and we'll see how we go and I'll probably sell some. What I'm doing is I, I assign the budget for it and I'm just trying to kind of just trying to accumulate as much as I can while it's going down. And uh, if it means shorting or selling and buying it cheaper, that's what I'm going to do until I find the bottom. This 2.618 might be the case where the bottom is. So it, it's, if this was to drop 2.618 uh, based on my Fibonacci setup, but that's no guarantee. It could be the 3.618 for, you know, and, any Fibonacci level could do it. So you've got to be careful. Here, we had an alley wave count five. This could be an A, B, and then C, a correction of some sort, and then back to another cycle. Don't know. It's just looking at these channels, anything is possible. Now, the other thing I can do is uh, give me a sec, and I'll add this Fibonacci. So from a small, smaller time perspective, I've assigned this level. Actually, I'll need to fix that up a bit. It's not quite right. There. And the bottom as one. Where are we? Right there. So that's the bottom as one. And you can see how the 414. And so what I might do, so I just raise that up a bit. And this could be our 
strong support as a 1.618. So this next level, and that could be, let's see how much of a percentage, 67%. That, that might be where we just find support. If it was to drop, uh, look for that level as well. Um, but that's for the short term. I wouldn't be looking to go, um, say, averaging in. That might be a case. It is bearish, and we're stuck in this channel at the moment. And for, for all you know is we could come down here and play for the, the coming week before we go up or down. So that might be the case. Um, but you can see how there was one wick. And that was basically due to this fibre extension, I think. Let's give me a sec. From there. No. Let's get rid of that for a sec. Fib extension from there to there to the top. And we get pretty much get it right on the nail. That fib there, 0.5. So 0 0.618 could be down here as well. So we might actually come down here. Having looking at that. So that this range is I think like well the pivot points there, but if we drop, we might just drop down to this 2414 level. And to this level here 37 cents to 34 cents if we were to drop this level um, very difficult to say uh, measured moves if we were to play a measured move from this perspective it is very possible that okay so that meets that criteria as well the other measured move is this high and Okay, so that measured move is down to this level here, to the 1.618. So it does seem like we're going to drop a bit more. And I should have done that. I think it's basically, it, it does look like it's weak. And, but I think after this coming week, we, yeah, we might get a bounce and I might just short looking for a short entry there if it was to take place further down and this might be area of interest for me and if there is something like a cup formation taking place then I'll, I'll, I'll consider jumping in and we, that could be the fake out that we need get liquidity and then back up again and then back down again and off we go again so these are the things I'm looking at but I'm just currently defining my support range, trading range, pivot, pivot point is this middle of the channel. If it goes, breaks above it, then uh, I would say add more to it. And, uh, and then we will we'll look at it from uh, this perspective, the golden ratio and fair enough. The golden ratio equates to this level here and you can see that was previous support and that's likely to be resistance and so therefore you should take some profit if this, this was to break through and then maybe it continues on to this level here which is the other one 1.618 level and then back down again and but the thing is the bullish cycle has moved into the upper quadrant and then we could potentially play this role as it comes down and up it goes. So, okay, we might have a new new change in direction and the bottom formation might start taking place there. So it is hypothesis. It's about planning. It's about observing. And so we can play in this quadrant or we can potentially break it through that middle section and play in the next quadrant and that will basically show us that we are approaching the bottom at the moment we as this macro is moving it we are still in the the bearish moment once we see some sort of change in this section of the, the channel then we are more likely to find closer reversal and what it does is, is it starts to prepare us for an ascending channel of some sort makes sense um, so 
we are too early to make that judgment. But if that was to take place, this type of formation, then we are more likely to be buying the bottom. I'm going to leave that out, guys. And uh, anyway, see how we go. Please give me a like and a share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.